Like life isn't just a trade. Life isn't just a business deal. Of course, we are business. We need to make money. We need to provide value for the, you know, if we're charging three to five thousand pounds for a course, we need to provide value for that. Fine, no problem. USPs, blah blah blah. But um, if this is all we're doing, we're losing our humanity, right? It's it's. And this model is being applied to healthcare, to education, to romance, you know? It's like, in the past there was merchants, there was warriors, there was priests, there was farmers, there was artists, different, you know, sometimes more formally, like in India, sometimes less formally. And they all had something to contribute and they're all part of what society was. And it seems like the sort of merchant model, which is one valid model, I'm not anti-business, just to be clear, is um, somehow has taken over. And we saw this in Russia, you know, communism fell all of a sudden, the only thing that mattered was profit. And the values here have got fucked as a result of that. Like this is an example of what happens when this economic system and the mindset that comes with it um, is saying this is the only thing. Yeah, I'm not saying Russia shouldn't be, you know, shouldn't have a capitalist model or anything else, you shouldn't go back to Stalin or some bullshit. But it's an example of what can happen. And if you see the values of many young people, you know, the, the, the buy into that as the only model. Um, I think hopefully, however, most young people don't now. If we see the resurgence in kind of politics around the world, um, this model of every, only thing that matters is business and uh, you're an object. So in terms of embodiment, how it collects, connects politically is uh, the kind of consumer system is encouraging people to view themselves as objects to be traded. Yeah, sexually, uh, in terms of just being a labor cog in a machine, the objectification of the female body particularly, but increasingly the male body as well. Uh, and not to feel, right? Every image we see in the media is tight, off balance. Usually there's videos on that if you want to see it. Um, I can demonstrate, it's easier to show the videos and talk about it here. But so what we're presented with is basically a kind of scared, uh, aggressive, objectified body um, where we're simply a thing to be traded. That's the basic, we're being cut off from our own values, which says, you, well, yeah, maybe I could look at the advertising and buy that product, but actually, do I want it? Does that, is that really what I want? Yeah. Um, so, and, you know, kings and religions have always done this um, in terms of cutting people off from their own experience in order to tell them what to do. This is not a new phenomenon. I think advertising has just got a psychological sophistication with it and a kind of endemic saturation with it now. Um, and people are still resisting it though, you know, I'm not the only one saying this, there's a whole movement around the world of people saying this is bullshit.